Hello, everyone, and welcome back to your boy, The Sean Davey Way Show. Please hit that like and subscribe on the way in. Tap that bell if you would like to be notified of all of our future content. Today, I bring you a video on Darius Jackson, which is Kiki Palmer's ex-boyfriend. As of recently, Kiki Palmer has filed a lawsuit plus a restraining order against her ex Darius for allegedly putting his hands on her even in front of their child. Let's get right into it. Kiki Palmer accuses ex-boyfriend Darius Jackson of abuse in new lawsuit. Actor and music artist Kiki Palmer is accusing her ex-boyfriend Darius Jackson of abuse in new court documents filed Thursday, according to multiple reports. Palmer is seeking a restraining order in sole custody of their eight-month-old son in the filing in Los Angeles Superior Court. She claims that Jackson has engaged in several abusive acts over two years, including destroying my personal property, including diaries and prescription eyeglasses, throwing my belongings into the street, throwing my car keys to prevent me from driving away, hitting me in front of our son, spewing profanities about me to our son, threatening the K-I-L-L himself with a G-U-N if I left him, harassment, and other physical and emotional abuse, us weekly reported, citing court documents. Also said he trespassed into my home without my knowledge or consent, threatened me, then physically attacked me, lunging for my neck, striking me, throwing me over the couch and stealing my phone when I told him I was going to call the police. Their son, Leo, was born in February. In July, the couple drew widespread attention when Jackson posted on X a public shaming of the new mom for her appearance at an Usher concert. Jackson's remarks prompted backlash from Palmer's fans, and many speculated that in his comments were an indicator that he was a controlling partner. His quote, it's the outfit though, you a mom, he wrote in his initial post over a video of Usher serenading Palmer. Quote continued, we live in a generation where a man of the family doesn't want the wife or mother of his kids to showcase their booty cheeks to please others, and he gets told how much he is a hater. Jackson, a fitness instructor, said in a second post after receiving backlash for his earlier remarks, his quote, This is my family, my reputation. I have standards and morals to what I believe. I rest my case. The following month, Palmer starred in a music video for Usher's boyfriend seemingly in response to the drama. Palmer has not publicly commented on the matter and several representatives of her did not immediately respond to her post request for comment. Jackson, however, cryptically posted, I love you, son, see you soon on Twitter Thursday. This hearing is set for December 5th at Stanley Moss Courthouse in downtown Los Angeles. Side note, along with the whole Usher thing when he serenaded her during his performance, a lot of people looked at that as sweet, endearing, two friends hanging out and whatnot. It was no big deal. Darius is what made this turn into a big deal because Usher had been serenading many women, especially celebrities, that would come and see him during his shows. I think that that was smart of Usher to do. It just brings more attention to his shows. There were more warning signs. So this definitely shows that he was controlling with this Usher situation, shaming her and saying that you're a mom. Why are you dressing like that? Why you got your booty out for the world to see and etc. Before he and Kiki announced that they were publicly together, Darius made his ex-girlfriend Taylor Marie get rid of their child that she was pregnant with. Basically forced her to do it. She says she felt really pressured about it. And then to look up three weeks later and see that he was in a public relationship with Kiki Palmer was very saddening to her because it's just like, I'm assuming she thought they were going to work it out or get back together in some way. And then it comes that he's in a whole relationship with Kiki. So that is very so much abuse emotionally. And what he did to her convinced her to do this because he was making it seem that it just wasn't the right time for them to have a kid. Whole time, he was already in another relationship. So let's get into that. Kiki Palmer's boyfriend accused by his ex of pressuring her to get rid of their child three weeks before he went public with actress. Kiki Palmer's boyfriend, Darius Jackson, is being accused by his alleged ex-girlfriend, 
Taylor Marie, of pressuring her to get rid of their child just three weeks before he went public with his current relationship. The model recently posted a video online to TikTok sharing her allegations. In the initial video, Taylor Marie uploaded a short clip to a popular video platform with the song Monday Night Raw by YNJ playing in the background. She added text to the video that said, When he gets you pregnant, presses you to get rid of your child, and three weeks later is booed up with Kiki Palmer. Side note, so he definitely pressured Taylor Marie to get rid of their child, and it seems as if she did so. And the devastation that she must have felt finding out that not only was he dating Kiki Palmer, but they had a baby. Why couldn't she keep hers? So again, the controlling aspect and how he does with women is definitely prevalent. You can see it. It's not something that goes underneath the radar. It's right in front of you. So again, Kiki Palmer did see certain signs before she got with him. But I think that love knocked on Kiki's door. So when you're in love with someone, you do overlook certain things because you like them so much. And you look at it as just because he did that to her doesn't mean that he'll do it to me. And Taylor Marie never stated that Darius did anything physical to her, that he never put his hands on her. She never said anything like that. It was just more so of him being really controlling. So again, just because he didn't do certain things to her doesn't mean that he won't do them to Kiki, but let's keep going. Kiki Palmer's mom speaks out amid Darius Jackson claims, slams his brother. Kiki Palmer's mom is defending her daughter. After the Nope actress accused her ex-boyfriend, Darius Jackson, of putting his hands on her and filed for full custody of their son on Thursday, Sharon Palmer took to Instagram to issue a rare statement. She took particular issue with Jackson's brother, Serena Jackson, condemning his siblings' alleged actions in a since-deleted tweet. Sharon called the insecure actor ridiculous in her video, claiming he knew Darius was abusive before the news broke. Her quote, I went to Serena's over a year ago and told him that his brother was abusive to my daughter. And he said, well, I used to be like that too, she alleged. So now he's posting on Twitter like he's the special guy when we know he's the biggest F boy in Hollywood. He's disrespectful to women just like his brother. She slammed Darius's brother, Serena's Jackson, for condemning his siblings. Sharon went on to claim Serena's taught his brother how to be this way. The matriarch, who doesn't often speak out, but said she couldn't help herself, added, he don't get to act like he's a special guy. No, you're an F-boy and you're part of the problem. Page Six reached out to Serena's rep for comment. Serena's has yet addressed Kiki's restraining order against Darius since seemingly calling his brother the most disgusting, vile, abusive, manipulative person on Friday before deleting the tweet. Sharon says Serena's knew about Darius's alleged abuse. Abuses almost everyone, the 33-year-old claimed. Y'all will see, just send positive energy to the babies. Any child in the middle of something like this does not desert it at all. Wow, so damn sad. Sharon called Serena's and his brother sociopaths in the caption of her rant, as well as phony. She wrote, I dare you mess with my family. Family means everything to me. I saw you from day one. My daughter is kind and our family treated you with kindness and this is how you treat it? I won't take this laying down anymore, Sharon concluded. I'm done. Side note, Sharon is basically saying Darius and his brother are one and the same and that Darius' older brother showed him these traits because he does the same thing. Which is weird because Darius's older brother has spoken out against him and stated that he does this to everyone. You'll see what type of person he is, dot, 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 yet has also condemned his brother's behavior by saying, you know, I know he's like that. I used to be like that, too. So all of this is really confusing. But what confuses me even more is Sharon. Sharon, I love the fact that you're a supportive mother and you don't want anything to happen to your daughter, Kiki, or your grandson. I couldn't agree with you more. I think you're a wonderful lady, but you knew too. So it's not that everybody knew except you and you just found out because your daughter went filed a restraining order. No, you've known 
over the last two years of your daughter dating this man that he's done certain things to her. Now, Sharon, this is not your fault. I'm not saying that you are to blame. You can't prevent your daughter from doing anything she doesn't want to do. So if Darius was doing these things to Kiki and Kiki decided to stay around, only she's going to know when she's had I get that you can't control what goes on in your daughter's life, but you do get to control your own platform. So now that Kiki has put in this restraining order and whatnot, you feel that now it's time for you to come forward and say that your daughter has been in harm's way for the last two years. Again, Sharon, you could have said that a long time ago, sweetheart. I get that you're not the type of person to really jump on social media and say things like this, but Sharon, you're on social media jumping up, saying things like this. Again, you could have done this sooner is all I'm saying. Anytime you feel that your daughter may not make this decision on her own, that she may need a little help, then maybe you could have came to social media a while back. I get it's her business, but her safety is everyone's business in the family. You know, uh, all families are like that. We're very protective, you know, of our own. So it becomes our responsibility to make sure that you know that we are there for you immediately. And I know Sharon definitely did that. It gives that, it gives she's a good mother, that Kiki has had a great example, a great leader. But at the same time, we have to lead differently. I think back in the day, a lot of people keeping these type of relationships under wraps made more sense but in the world of social media nothing is kept a secret long so I feel that this could have been done they could have been brought this to the attention of the public and maybe that could have helped Kiki with her decision before it getting this bad I mean Kiki could have lost her life there could have been all type of stuff that happened to her if this wasn't brought to the forefront. So again, I commend Kiki. I'm so proud of her. I'm so happy that she decided to do something about this and not take her child through this for years and years and years before she grows a big enough backbone to be able to walk away. I'm so proud of Kiki. Again, Kiki, this is wonderful. This is great that you brought this to the forefront because you are helping so many women right now and men that are in these type of relationships. So I don't want to make it seem like I'm coming down on Sharon or that I'm coming down on Kiki. I absolutely am not. But these situations are very dangerous and not everybody makes it out. And what Darius's behavior coming into Kiki's home without her knowledge or consent, attacking her, throwing her belongings in the street and things like this. It sounds like it was progressing. It sounds like it was getting a lot worse before it got better. And it makes situations even harder when you bring children into it because you want your child to have both parents. You don't want them to grow up without the other half. But if the other half is hurting you and harming you and things like that, maybe it's you know, the child is better off, you know, not having Darius in his life at all. But let's keep going. As of now, Kiki has been granted the full restraining order and also full custody of her young eight month old son, Leo. So thank God for that. Leo is safe. Kiki safe. And she has custody. They have court coming up next month in Los Angeles to see what's actually going to go down because this is all temporary as of now. It's not permanent. So she doesn't have a permanent restraining order and she doesn't have permanent full custody. It's just due to this situation. So this is a long battle that Kiki will face. So this is just the beginning. I love you all. I will be back with updates. And so then Kiki Palmer, we are very proud of you. We love you. We love your son. And we also love your mother, Sharon. We love you all. Keep your heads high. I hope you're in good spirits. We're praying for you all. Until the next video, I love you. Bye.